Starting. G'day everyone, welcome to X Resort. I'm Chrissy, thanks for joining me. Just wanted to say hello to everyone and of course uh, thanking Wendy from Artista365 and Janice LeBlanc who are moderating the stream. So g'day, g'day, g'day. And hang on a sec, here we go. Just refreshing my... Um, Oh, here we go. All right. I want to say hello to everyone. G'day, Marcy. Hello, Shandri. Bila. Hello. Hello. And uh, let me see. Hope you had a great year so far. Um, oh, oh, Peggy. Hello. And oh, g'day, Lindy. Hello. How are you going? Um, um, let me see. Jan oh, yes, no, I've always said hello to Janice. Okay, all right. Okay, well, this is, well, getting back into it every Wednesday. So same time, or same bat channel, same bat time, or maybe sometimes. Okay, Brenda, hello, how are you going? Um, yeah, so um, what I, I mean, I've still got my project that we did, um, that I was doing from our, um, like from um, New Year's Eve stream so um, I'm just hearing myself back again I think is everything is my sound and all of that okay I hope it is anyway all right so uh, first of all I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everyone who um, <laughs> Wendy says she finished hers. Uh, some people, Chrissy, uh, told you you wouldn't finish it. Well, that is correct. <laughs> but, you know, well, mine was a bigger piece. So that's my excuse and that's I'm going with that one. So uh, did you sleep for hours, says Lindy? Well, I slept for about, oh, maybe about, I don't know, about six hours afterwards. Um, I had to take my son to the airport. So... Hmm. Um, but that's okay. It took me a few days to catch up on some sleep. But I just wanted to thank, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of Wendy as well, uh, who was, uh, um, and just wanted to thank everyone for, you know, participating and, or like, when I say participate, like joining in on the stream and, oh, g'day, Chris. Hello, mate. How are you going? And just, you know, egg egging us on and, and all of that. And of course, you know, uh, Janice was moderating for just about most of that as well. So my goodness, kudos to her as well. She was just, you know, out, um, just going with us as well, but she was just behind the scenes. And anyway, so my project, well, I've still got my other one. Uh, Lindy has a question. Let me see, Lindy. Uh, uh, Chrissy. Uh, yeah, no, I've answered that. Oh, Chrissy. Uh, so, so can we? So we can expect to see uh, the store video soon. Yes, because guess what? I went. Uh, I went to the store and I got some footage, and so now I have to put it together. So, you know, baby steps. Okay, baby steps. <laughs> All right. So, what I have here is. A little piece this is our uh, pan pastels uh, and the size is 24 by 30 centimeters and this is one of the um, uh, one of the prompts that was from March mashup uh, uh, 2019 ones which I had promised and I hadn't done so and I thought well look I really needed to do a little piece and of course this is uh, something that uh, also can be included in my body of work with all my cards. Uh, hoot hoot, <laughs> says, <laughs> says Lindy, oh my gosh, nothing like a year or so later. <laughs> yes, Wendy, I understand, I understand. Uh, you will finally get to see the art supplies, says <laughs> Janice. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what, there's, you know what, there's a, a heap of, heap of, um, uh, you know, uh, pastels in this place, you know, so, um, you know what, I, I think I'm hearing my voice back again. Am I echoing at all? No, maybe not. I don't know. No. 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 Mm -mm. No. No. All I've got is my microphone, so I'm not quite sure what it is. But anyway, all right. 
Well, I'll just get with the pro. Oh, <laughs> hang on. How long has it been since I first started? Oh, look, three minutes or maybe five minutes or so. So maybe I'm doing good time. In Well, I've already started a little bit. So how about that? Um, sounds fine to me. Steve, hello, mate. How you going? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, the brushes that I'm using are typically these ones. I do have the sponges and all of that. But I prefer to use um, use this for my background and I don't know if you can see but these are just beautiful and soft um, so I might just add a few more just a little bit more to the background and I'll start uh, I'll start ripping off the masking film now this particular prompt is for March mashup as I said 2019 I've got all the details in the description box below and this particular prompt is uh, 28 and it's um, dragonfly panther or panther dragonfly so of course I like the females in my um, in these prompts um, I don't know why I like it so much but I do and I've um, you'll s oh Renata hello welcome welcome and Rob g'day mate how you going hi all I can't stay I'm taking the wife out for food because I'm such a gentleman yes you are how about that <laughs> oh dear All right. So. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So the colors that I've been using here are the turquoise, which um this area here. Hopefully the it's not too dark. Um, I've been using the red iron oxide extra dark. I've been using the burnt umber extra dark, the burnt sienna for these areas. And what is this one again? Diary Light Shade. So I'm mixing nice, I'm mixing them and making a really nice blend with this brush. It, this brush does make a bit of a um, powdery mess um, and I have cleaned up before so I get told smoke and mirrors. Oh, Nolani, hello, hello, how are you going? How are you going? Hope I haven't missed anyone else. I think I don't, I think I haven't. Yeah. Now, why am I hearing myself again? I don't know why I'm hearing myself. Okay. Don't know why. Silke, hello, hello. Um. Okay, what is? Oh, okay, all right. So I'm just putting a little bit more on. And this is the hmm, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know why. Because I got something else open. <laughs> Jeez, I found it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Um. Oh, Anne. Hello, hello. How are you going? How are you going? Welcome, welcome. All right, nearly there. Uh, yes, um, I am recording. Thank you. And I'll show you where the panther part is. I'm just about, you can't see it right now. Or maybe you can. This area here is the the panther spots uh, over her eyebrow. And, but I will, I will show you in a minute when I go into it. Might even do the eye. Mm, hang on. Rob wants to know, is this a 24-hour stream? No, not 
Not today. Not today. Oh, but I tell you what, that was like an awesome, that was awesome. And I've got to say, you know, tick, you know what? I can, I can tick that off my bucket list. Uh, definitely off my bucket list. Uh, that was some stream. And uh, I saw myself in, in the, I just wanted to see ha, um, the difference when I first started or when Wendy and I first started. And we first started, we were very fresh. <laughs> you know, I looked okay. And then by the end of it, my face was pale. I was done, I think. But I enjoyed it and I was so satisfied and uh, so proud that I was able to accomplish that. So, um okay uh lindy says ah that's clever okay yeah well there you go so uh 24 hours was fun yes well it was fun for us like i mean it, you know um i said hello to shandry didn't i yes i did um okay uh that was so fun and you girls were very brave yes brave oh gosh yes had an awesome time actually um, and what was really good is that we got to uh, meet up with every or people that wanted to connect with us and sometimes who miss us or wanted to catch with us, you know, catch us live and stuff like that. This was a very good, um, it was a very good, uh, it was a very good, um, what can I say, a good way to catch everyone. That's what it was. So next challenge is a 48 hour stream on Easter. <laughs> says silke <laughs> yeah right i don't know about that if we do one we might do one for 12 hours i don't know there's all sorts of talk but we don't know if if we were ever to do a long stream but i don't know 24 hours wow yeah we need to um we need to recover from that one for sure <laughs> that will take us a while G'day Will, hello, hello, how are you going, how are you going? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Look, I'm into it. As you can see, Will, look, already. See? Not that it's a record or anything. You know what, I was going through, um, I had, I've, just, I've uploaded uh, a video of uh, holding hands and it's, it's, um, it's a live stream, it was a long live stream that Wendy and I did uh, and it went for about six hours and what we were doing, it was a bit like a, a dress rehearsal uh for the long stream the extra long stream that we did but did you know i fa i finished on that stream i managed to fi finish a project so you know <laughs> i know i'm not consistent with finishing well i don't finish many things actually so <laughs> on stream but i get a bit done i get a bit done um uh okay uh, hey, uh, we're looking, uh, we're looking forward to your first video. Oh yes, the pastel one. Um, all right, so I think all right. So um, okay. All right, needs a little bit more color, I think. More saturation. Okay, I think we're right. leave that there for the moment all right so oh hang on vacuum cleaner just one moment hang on a sec all 
All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to start on the female. And I'm going to start in the eye area and see if I can get to do the panther bit. So... That'll change. All right. Okay. So, um, ah, yes, the Lux paper. Uh, Jackson's will, um, um, I saw, oh yes, for people that haven't seen uh, the video, uh, Will uh, has uploaded the um, the review on the Lux paper. So interesting, interesting. Now, for me, it's a little bit difficult because it's like my go-to paper, the pastel mat. So I'm interested to see on what, uh, how, how it's going to... Um, how it's going to affect my work because I work a little bit differently. Uh, I work a little bit differently. Uh, the, these pan, these pans, I've applied a light layer, so um, it'd be interesting to see if I can get the same sort of the way I work on pan pastel. Uh, sorry, on pastel mat. Um, how I would work on the Lux or how it'll work with the techniques that I use. So it'd be really, really interesting to see how it works. So anyway. I'm just looking for a colour which I normally use. Yeah, no, no. Okay, Steve says uh, that was one of. Uh, okay, um, where, where is that comment? Um, oh, okay. Um, what's happened here, uh, because I didn't put masking film on on this lady here, right, this is not going to affect because I'm going to put quite a lot of layers on her face and I'm just picking that here. All I wanted was to mask this area here so it won't affect. All right, so. Um, so I just, I, um, I also wanted to um, get your thoughts oh, on our live stream with Wendy. Is this something that, um, I mean, did you think that we were crazy doing this or did you think this was a good thing? I'm not sure. I, I think it's both actually crazy and a good thing. Um, and just connecting with everyone. I think that was something which, um, cause I'm thinking afterwards, was it? Yeah. Anyway. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the review, Chrissy, was how well you could erase off with the Lux. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, Silke says it was fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Sorry, I've got a bit of hair here. Um, Shandru says, yes, crazy, but it was so much fun and it made my last day of the year so much better. You know what was really funny is that, um, and w which was the coolest thing ever, was like we, um, uh, you were on the street, uh, like you were in the chat and keeping us company and then you went, okay, well, it's time for me to go to bed now. And of course, like you go to bed and you wake up and you're all nice and fresh and then you come back on the stream and Wendy and I are still going. 
And I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, could you imagine like from your side watching us going ahead and just going on and on and on and on. But you know what the sad thing was, um, the YouTube, when it comes to recording live streams, the most that YouTube will allow you to upload is 12 hours worth. The la, um, because of uh, because of my internet going in and out, I managed to have increments or you know a handful uh, about four or five videos. But on the last one, the fifth video, uh, I had we had 14 hours left to go, and it it only uploaded 12. So people, if they're viewing this, they'll probably think, nah, they didn't do the full 24 hours but I know that you guys were around and witnessing it so that's the only thing that I'm thinking of that well did they really do it or didn't they really do it um I absolutely ex okay all right okay Rob talk to you soon thanks for popping in to say good day um Okay, uh, Anais says, uh, uh, Chrissy, I loved it. Also, I love the dynamic you two have when you are streaming together. Oh, yes. We fight like sisters, carry on like sisters. I think that's what it is. If you've got sisters and brothers, it's, it's that way, isn't it? Um, but yes, we do have a, a special chemistry. Um, okay, Chris says, oh, okay. Um... Wendy says, okay. Oh, definitely. We, uh, uh, it was so fun, Chrissy and Wendy, yes. And Chandra said it was funny and uh, and bit sad to say I had to go to sleep because I knew you must have been craving for some sleep at some point. Oh, well, yes. Um, yeah. Well, yes, and uh, Chris says, uh, Chrissy, I absolutely expected someone to be sleeping at their desk when I popped in. I tell you what, I reckon I might have had one of, the, one of those nano naps where I had closed my eyes for like a split second, and I don't think anyone saw that one. But back in there, yes, for sure. Um, actually, Wendy, did you have a nano nap? Like, did you blink your eye? I don't know. <laughs> just checking. Just checking. Um, Steve says, Chrissy, that 24 stream cemented what I always thought. It is now a proven fact that women do not run out of words. <laughs> I tell you what. No, they don't. No, they don't. You know what? We even uh, we even got to play uh, uh, um, a trivia because um, Wendy's, Wendy's hubby, Tim, uh, needed to answer a few questions for a quiz that he does and so we answered his quiz his quiz questions and then we decided oh come on we want some more so we had to so we found some more for us and we were he got us going there was a bit of a lull for us and so he, he was pushing past and helping us get through all of that so that was that was good fun as well you know yeah yeah, you just yeah, that's right. You just don't know what will happen on stream. So whatever it takes. And I think I'm, I can't remember. So maybe Wendy, you can maybe it it would have been around the seventeen hour mark. I reckon that was happening to us. I think um, yeah, that was yeah. I reckon that was. Um, Hello, Evie. Welcome, welcome. Hello, how are you going? Okay. So, I'm just looking at my reference here. So, making sure that... Um, and sharpeners. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen it, there's this, the Karen Dash blade. If you hadn't seen it. So... 
um, which is really interesting. Oh, not this sharpener and not that one, but that one was all right. So, um, and this one I got from uh, Cult Pens. Uh, and it was about 18 pound. I'm not quite sure if that's a lot of money, but I got some replacement blades as well with that. So let's see how long this will last. And I also bought, apart from buying this sharpener, right? I also bought some replacement blades that go with that. Which are these? No, they don't. They don't come with it. You have to buy them separately, but they fit in that. So, and of course, you know these are germ. They're made in Germany. The blades, so it's bloody good quality. You know. So, hang on. Just a bit of sticky bit. Don't want to stick it. Honestly, hang on. Yeah, so, so if you, I mean, there's all sorts of, all sorts of sharpeners out there. Everyone's got so many, there are so many things, whichever works for you. So I bought this one to try, see how we go with this. Uh, does, yeah, okay, okay, about 36, okay, have I missed something? No, 36 dollars yes yes that is right Evie yeah because it's yes for for this I think it was pretty I'm pretty sure it was 18 pound on cult pens and of course our dollar is shocking um <laughs> Australian dollars, your sharpener. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, does it work better than your veggie peeler? Um, where's my veggie peeler? Oh, it's over there. Um, the veggie peeler, what the veggie peeler does, it takes a, um, <clears throat> a bigger chunk out of the wood. Um, that's what it does. Whereas this one, I'm managing to get just fine flicks. You know, I've got more control, probably. That's probably what I should be saying. I've got more control. Um, I can't find it. Is it here? Close? No. 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 There we go. Okay. Um, Chris says, well, if it lasts and works, that's totally worth it. Good sharpeners for pastels is something I think uh, they should have figured out by now. Yeah. Uh, was that an ordinary veggie peeler or one of those flash ones? No, it was an ordinary one. Um, I should get it, shouldn't I? <laughs> but yes, it was an ordinary veggie peeler. So... The eye is going to get a lot of, it's going to be touched up quite a lot. So I'll just, um, what I wanted to do is maybe get into this bit, the panther bit, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. Gabriella, hello, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here. Um, they did figure it out, but it's hard to get outside, get outside of Europe. My jacquard is still amazing at sharpening my pastel pencils, but doesn't your, has your jacquard just, well, has it gone blunt? Was the, it's a rotary one. I know it is, but has it, is it blunt at all? So that's a question. Um, 
or have you will have you gone in with your um uh, like a graphite pencil or something like that uh, Shandri says, I have a question. I want to buy a sharpener for my pastel pencils and I have seen a lot of stuff passing by. I want a not too expensive one, maximum 15 euro. Which ones are okay for a starter? Hmm. For a starter, I would be going that and buying those blades. What did I do with them now? Here it is. I would try that. I would try that if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, nope, it's not blunt. Um, I had it for a year now and haven't changed the blade since um, February of last year. Oh, maybe I should get the Jacquard. Interest. Yeah, maybe the Jacquard. Maybe Shandri, try the Jacquard. Angelina, hello. Hi, all. I'm on lunch so I can only join in for 30 minutes. Hello, sweetie. How are you going? So I would either try that or the jacquard then, perhaps. Um, but I don't know. What's 15 euro? I don't know what 15 euro is. Um, I have one of those, but it doesn't seem to work for the Derwent ones. Hmm. Oh, you mean like the big, the big hole thing? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Sharpeners. I think that's one of the... Um, one of the things that we have to, you know, we struggle with, I think, the pastel pencil. Okay. So 15 euro is $24 Australian dollars. Okay. Same. 24, 24. Oh, well, that's all right. That's pretty good. Um, sorry about the mix-ups earlier this week. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. All my art money is in horses, is in the horse's mouth right now. Oh, yes. Dental bills. Bet you the dental bill would have been, um, would Cost, cost quite a bit for you there, Chris. Oh, are you kidding me? Hey Hazel, hello, hello, welcome, hi everyone. I watched Will's um, Lux Archival review this morning and suffered sharp and suffered sharp pastel pencil. Oh, sorry, I hadn't finished. Pencil. Oh, okay. Envy. Okay, I've got gotcha. I hope my hair isn't in the way again. There we go. Doesn't look like much at the moment.
I need to put a bit of black there. Jackson's ships to US. They all... What is it? Oh, they sell. They sell the Jakar, but only in the, but only UK plug. UK plug, what does that mean? Plug. You mean, oh, plugging it into the wall, you mean. Or making it stationary. What does that mean? Okay. Jakar has a battery operated pencil sharpener too. I wonder if it, it is as good. Yeah, wall plug. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I'm just going to put the pencils down just for a little bit and I'll be using this brush and Okay, I want to start the leopard bit here, so at least you get to see something here. What I might do is just do this so I can, so I don't lose my map. Yes. Um, I was telling, Jelena says, Jelena says, I was telling my work colleagues this morning about, about my no buy year on art supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, haven't bought anything yet. The year is the year is young. Okay, <laughs> the year is young. Uh, Janice says, Chrissy, wow, that eye is popping already. Thank you. Yep. Oh well, I've got to make sure that I don't lose my map. So that's the main. That's what I'm trying not to do: is lose my map. And again, like I always do, just applying base, just um, just all the base colors before. Won't be doing detail for a while. get a converter adapter exists that ad adapters exist grandpa what does that mean <laughs> that? I 
And you're referring to Steve as grandpa. I'm, okay, I'm getting it now. That's okay, I'm getting it now. I've got this creepy crawly ant. I don't know if you can see it. It's just behind me. Look, there it is there. Uh oh, hang on. There it is there. Oh, it's just all these creepy crawlies. Oh gosh, go away, go away. <laughs> Had to sh it's like saying, oh look, there it is there. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, I don't do creepy crawlies very good. <laughs> That's right. says don't let it bite you everything there in Australia is yes it is I've got, I've got snakes slithering in my backyard sometimes they've been seen I haven't seen them but people in my family have seen them oh I, they, I don't do that very well spiders pretty bad spiders What else have we got that's really bad? And this is just in my um, backyard. <laughs> oh. Redback spiders or what? Um, Redback spiders that's got... Um, they're similar to what you might call the black widow, but they're, they're similar, but not exact, but they're like that. So, yeah. Um, uh, Marcy says, I always get panthers, cougars and, and pumas. Did I say that correct? Anyway, confused. Uh, my mind always sees panthers as black. The movie Cat People uh, features a black leopard though. Uh, so many cats. Well, panthers are, 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 you can get black panthers and you can get the ones that have got like the leopard coloring. Um, so there's that. Um, but yes, it's very, I think it's, I, the panthers, are a little bit more like bigger necks and uh, the spots are a little bit different but you could easily get them mixed up as a leopard though if you were if you had like a quick glance or something like that um uh janice says chrissy she doesn't chrissy doesn't do creepy cr crawlers yet lives in the worst place of killer spot yes 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 uh because they are all in texas and australia there you go pretty sure poland has a ban on all insects they are nowhere to be found oh my gosh could you oh, look at that well that's cool
And where's my bit of paper? I need my bit of paper to make colours. Okay. Um, okay, Lindy says... Um, Lindy says, Chrissy, a friend got bitten on the toe today by a spider and her toe is swollen black and the bruising is spreading up her leg. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? What kind of spider was that, I wonder? <sighs> Cheapest creepers. Did she go to the hospital to get anti, what is it, venom something? <sighs> or maybe, what here, what sort of a spider was it? Jelena says, um, I did have a short thought when I saw someone bought, bought themselves an airbrush. But, oh, okay. Not sure about that one. Uh, Beela says, Chrissy, I have two pickled funnel webs and a red belly black snake sh shedded skin. Oh, my gosh. Want to use the skin in a mixed media one, one day? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a bit creepy. Um, Wendy says, Lindy, she needs to go to the ER if it's spreading, yeah, that fast. Then she could lose her foot, leg, possibly her life, depending upon what type bit her exactly. Yeah. Um, Jelena says, uh, you need, uh, you need space to run. Oh, okay. It's another conversation. Um. Lindy says, uh, hang on, just, okay. Lindy says to Beela, um, I'm not sure whether I think you are clever or not. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Here we go. All right, so. And let's just do a bit of the eyebrow as well. just leave that for the time being so at least we get to see make sure it's a bit too orange okay so there we go um, 
Wendy um, says, oh, that eye is looking amazing. Oh, thanks, Lindy. Um, yes. Uh, Wendy says to Lindy, uh, make sure you check on her tomorrow. I would hate to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, mm, not good. Like all of those things just, you know. Like even if I've left my shoes outside, like my runners and, and like I always, before I put them on, I make sure that there's nothing in the shoe, which is a little bit scary actually. Yeah. You know, particularly the runners. Yeah, that's a bit scary. All right. I'm going to start doing a bit of a face here so at least we can um, um, this takes a while so okay I'd forgotten about Jaguars oh there you go and then there's, then there's the Jaguar as well Marcy yes <laughs> um, Lindy says Chrissy that's how my friend got bitten she had she had shaken the shoes but it was inside anyway oh bugger well, how am I so Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to be doing that. I always thought that if I shook it, it would fall out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just... Well, well, maybe I'm a bit gullible, I think. Okay, Steve says Janice. I'm glad to hear uh, she's all right. I would. Uh, okay. This is a bit blotchy as well. So, but as you know, I put lots of layers, so.
So this year, what's going on this year? We've got lots, lots this year. Um, so many projects to do and so many projects to finish as well. So, um, so has anyone has anyone got any um, like what projects are you? I mean, apart from what you share on um, share your art with X Art, is there um, is there a program that you're setting yourself like goals this year or art wise or or is it just you know uh, just uh, playing by ear or you know going with the flow so Chrissy woke up a bit late today oh no worries how's it all going how's it all going nice to see you Um, I really want to do a textured mixed mixed media piece this year. Oh, sounds interesting. Is it going to be a horse? Just checking. Um, <laughs> oh, it might be. <laughs> That'd be nice. Mixed media. This is Chrissy. I listened to a very good video yesterday, and that was instead of setting goals, pick one word that you would work on for the year, i.e., consistency, tranquility, productive, etc. Oh, I like that. That's good. So, which word did, did you pick a word? I wonder. Um, um, and Steve says, Chrissy, I want to buy. Uh, I want to, by June, have a website up and running. Uh, that's one of my goals. Uh, I'm just rotten at all the uh, intro buyer stuff. Um, I looked at your website and you did it so well. Well, uh, try. you know, all I can say is just keep it simple. I, I think that's what it is. And making sure that if people are navigating to not for too many clicks, that's what... Um, I was trying to achieve so whatever it, whatever you're going to do Steve simple just simple as um, okay uh, Silke have to go now it was nice to catch up with you all bye for now Silke oh god I don't even know if I said that right now Silke yes there we go um, uh, Chris says probably not um, I feel like if I even say horse in my house <laughs> one more time someone might scream oh my gosh okay all right well mum's the word don't say it use another word instead of horse <laughs> um, uh, Heidi says okay okay Beela says Chrissy uh, when the fires are over and my eyes are fixed I want to get stuck into my pan pastels I have only used a couple of times well of course that would be good and of course you know what if you 
if you get stuck, you know, feel free to, to you know, contact me or, you know, as many times as you want. So it's all good. Um, okay, Chris, uh, Chris says, oh, good one, Wendy. Hmm, wonder what word I would choose. What's yours? Are you going to choose horse, Chris? <laughs> You're not going to choose horse, are you? Well, you never know. Okay. Um, Wendy says, I choose consistency. But this way, if you think how can I be consistent today, then work towards that and won't fall for, and, and you won't fail at your goals. But in the end, you will reach them because you actually worked. Well, there you go. And that's it too. Yeah. Work toward them. Okay. I really like that idea, Wendy. I'm going to pick a word. I could definitely use the focus. Bela says, Chrissy, thanks. Oh, okay, all good. Hello, am I too late? No, you're just in time. Never too late. Let's see if I can get something up here too. Jelena, uh, oh, fun is over for me. Have to go back to work. Bye for now, Jelena. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for popping in. I think you're getting the idea with this. <clears throat> I'll get her chin in. How about that? I'll just get her chin in as well. She can't be without a chin. Um, uh, uh, okay. Um, and Wendy says, this way it eliminates a bit of distraction because you know that you have to do this or that for the day because that is your focus for the day. Yes. Um, Steve says, Chrissy, might be helpful for us colorblind people if you can tell us what colors you are grabbing uh, to do what you're doing. Okay. The colors that I like to use a lot for skin tones are the burnt sienna group when i say the burnt sienna group this is it here there's that and that those are the four in the burnt sienna so i use that in a combination and i'm mixing tones sometimes like to get my values right you know like my darks are getting darker my lights lighter and so that's what i'm trying to achieve the other colors that I'm using that you see me dabbling in is the red iron oxide group. There it is there. That's that is the the red iron oxide. That's the extra dark. So there's that. And let me see what else oh, I should also. And this is another one that I'm using sometimes. That's the shade red iron oxide shade. And of course, I use the uh, raw umber extra dark and the raw umber tint. So they're the colors I use. And um, I've discovered, which I really like, is the, um, is the turquoise extra dark, which is really nice for um, 
like getting the shading and sometimes you know when the skin is a bit translucent and you can see veins coming through which it looks sounds a bit gruesome but it's not really but it makes the skin look translucent when you and it desaturates if I feel that this is a bit too on the ready side so they're the colors that I'm using at the moment um, okay Evie says, Chrissy, um, is that a white piece? Is that is that white piece uh, you use to work your colours on? Uh, okay. Uh, th this this is a, just an ordinary white piece of cartridge paper, and I use this to mix, like a like a watercolour or a, an, an oil uh, like an oil palette or acrylic palette. Um, and what happens is that by the time I finish, it looks like this with other projects. So this would have been from my Under the Sea project from um, the 24-hour stream. Which, And then when I finish, when I finish the project, I've, I've started to write down um, the project name. So I know the colours or, I mean, that's just for me. Um, the colors that I've used and how I mixed so and that'll be like for this one so they're starting to look very similar as you can see they look similar <laughs> yeah so there you go okay um, okay all right, so where am I now? I'm mixing. That's what I'm mixing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But I'm not using white. Um, oh, hang on, I was, I was down there. Oh, I got distracted. Hang on. I need to get back down here. And my brushes need cleaning now because um, the pigment stays there for quite a while. And so I've got to make sure that I put a lot of pressure to get as much pigment off before I um, start to use other pens and I know that you guys see me do this all the time so I'm just letting you know what I'm doing that's all and why I'm doing it Okay, Helen says, I was at hospital yesterday for a pre-surgery appointment, so uh, we'll, be called, we'll be called in the next week or so. So experimenting with airbrush control uh, till they call me. Oh, that's interesting. I saw your post on Share Your Art with Extras Art too, Helen. Way to go. I should get my, you know, what am I saying? Well, I should. You're making me want to get my um, airbrush out as well. It's been on my mind. Lots of things have been on my mind. I've got to do so much. Well, folks, it's been fun, but um, I have been up way too long for an old man. Need to go lay down for a spell. Enjoyed everyone's company. Thanks all. Thank you so much, Steve, for popping by and saying good day. Um, talk to you soon, I'm sure. Helen says, Chrissy, it is fun experimenting, but drawing something with it is way more difficult than pencils. Yes, because I suppose the control is when you pull back and forward. When you pull back, it's more um, 
like there's more spray so there's less detail when you go for when you go further in or it's um more detailed and i and i think it's getting used to your brush like like your airbrush and getting used to the way uh, you work and practicing like everything you always need practice no matter what regardless And yes, and the needle um, does matter with the airbrushing as well, so that's important, yes. Uh. Okay. Um, Helen says, Chrissy, yes it is, but airflow control is a nightmare. If you come too close uh, with too much pressure, you end up with paint splat uh, uh, splattering into your face. Oh, there you go. Not that I know. Oh, but that's okay. Jean, hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Um, is this the first time we've seen you in the chat? So welcome. Lily, hello. Hey, all just lurking. Hello. How are you going? Hang on. I just need to have a bit of water. That's all there is, unfortunately. Hang on a sec. Okay. Um, Heidi says, uh, doing my first portrait of someone I know, which is harder because it, um, it has to actually look exactly like that person. I'm doing three versions to test color pencil on pastel mat, pastel on pastel mat and color pencil on Bristol plate. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. And yes, when it's someone that, you know, it's always, you know, there's too much pressure. to getting it right. I know this looks blotchy and it will for a little while until I put heaps of layers on here so bear with me.
Um, you are working quickly today, Chrissy. Uh, did you do all of it on this stream? Am I, <laughs> I am impressed. Well, I have to say I did this part off stream, but it didn't take very long and I didn't want you guys to sit there watching me do all of that. So, but that didn't take very long. Would about maybe, I don't know, off stream, 10, 15 minutes, but this is what I've been doing on stream. So yes, I know. Shock horror. Can there be an improvement? Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Wendy says, um, Heidi, I love color pencil on pastel mat. It takes a lot of layers, so you have to keep layering to get rid of the grainy look. It will be a bit shinier than, say, pastels. Okay. Diane, hello, hello, welcome, welcome, good morning. Um, yay, but we are wait we are wanting we are waiting for Lux archival pa Yes, yeah, well by the time we get it. Okay.
Oksana, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, welcome. Barbara, hello, hello. Hello, how are you going? Um, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me go back. Um, Anais says, uh, Wendy, idea for you. Could you do a review of different pastel papers like Pastel Matte, Fisher 400, You Art, Cancer Mitant? Um, okay. Uh, and so that uh, your, so that your, oh, and so that you try to complete the same piece in those papers. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, Helen says, uh, Wendy and Chrissy, how long did it take to recover from the New Year's dream? Well, I can't answer for Wendy, but for me, it probably took about a couple of days, I would say, uh, but not that, about a couple of days um, for me. Uh, yeah. And... Um, Anne says, uh, Chrissy and Wendy, a uh, little bit like what Lisa has done when comparing different colored pencil brands. I know the videos, yes, I've, yes, when she's compared like Faber Castell. I remember in the early days when she was trying that out and the Prisma colors, I remember. That was a long time ago though. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, Wendy. Um, oh yeah, good idea. Wendy says, good idea on the paper comparison. Yep. I'm spraying only so that I can add more layers. Okay. Spraying? What are you spraying? Um, uh, Wendy says, Chrissy, oh sorry, Wendy says, Anne, um, I will be getting the Lux paper this month so I can add that in as well but it will be a few months down the road going in yep okay um i know no it's really tire uh, tiresome but if the piece but if the piece would be quite similar for example same theme and colors but the comparison would be different oh yeah well if i can get my hands on it i'll do a comparison for sure that's a given. I mean, after all the pastel mat that I use, are you kidding? I should. Try. And I'm always trying different papers. Like, it's not as if I'm. And you've seen me try different papers, but I always come back to this. thinner brush now let's just put that there for the time being
trying to get trying to do as much as I possibly can in a stream I know it's a bit weird me doing me trying to finish but I can't finish no way Oksana, thank you so much. Uh, and there says Chrissy, Wendy. Oh, yeah, no, we've, I've said that. Um, and to me, it tells me more. Uh, I see. Oh, gosh, where is it again? Um, and to me, it tells me more when I see some finished piece than just basic lines and colored circles and rectangles. Yes, I do agree. I do agree. Um, Yeah, Wendy doesn't like doing the same subject twice, so yeah, she would struggle on that one. Whereas I don't mind, I can do it like two or three times, even four, it doesn't matter for me. Um, but you know, everyone's different. Yeah, and Wendy also mentions, yeah, circles and lines don't really tell much or even show a technique, that is correct too. Hi. Um, oh, hello. Cece, hello. How are you going? Cecenic Root. Is this your new name? Is this your new um, YouTube channel? Yes. Um, Heidi says, Wendy, well, that gives you an idea of how much color pencil I already have done. Maybe I'm expecting a finished look that isn't possible with color pencil on that paper. Pastel mat is my go-to paper, so I was ho uh, so I was hoping. Okay. Uh, yes, this is my new YouTube. Okay, for my travels. Wonderful. Um, uh, well, Chris is just a little bit different. See scenic route. There you go. I like that actually. It's very clever. Uh, Helen says I'm holding off on buying the Lux archival. Uh, we'll be recovering for a couple of weeks to a couple of months. Sorry, to a couple of months after surgery, and don't want to look at it and not be able to use it. Yeah, I know that would be so hard. Um, Chrissy dislikes voiceovers too. I don't mind them as long as I don't have to show my face, okay? Oh, it's always hard to listen to your own voice and we all cringe a little bit, so I get that as well. Okay, Chrissy, uh, you would be perfect for this paper review video. Uh, yes, I will. As soon as I can get my hands on it, uh, you could do different ladies like this one. Yes. I might have to, um, I suppose it's um, not what you know and it's who you know. So I'll see if I can get my hands on it. How about that? <laughs> Um, uh, Cece says, um, I sure did give the creativity to Christine. They, okay, oh, sorry. Uh, Heidi says, it's a little frustrating that they are doing all the Lux paper reviews, but we won't be able to get it for a long time. Yes, I know. I mean, gosh, I don't know how, I don't know how that works, but anyway. 
you would think that it would be out on in all the shops and then you would be talking about and you say well look this is where you can get it so I don't know Um, okay, Janice says it's um, available at Delta Art in Edmonton. Okay, well that's in Canada, so I'm not sure how far away that is for you, Heidi, but uh, Helen says, oh no, that's okay. All right, so um, let's give us some hair, eh? So she's not bald. I'm going to mix a bit here. Uh, curious if pan pastels are similar to handmade pastels, will. Uh, will be, will will be using will 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 be using besides the fact that they are in a tray Chrissy these look so fun to use the uh, the pan pastels yes yeah of course they yeah they're fantastic to use oh you're comparing them to hand rolled um, pastels soft pastels Oh, how, do, how do these compare to the actual soft pastels well okay um, the the soft pastel you hold it with your fingers and of course you're smudging with you I mean you're smudging with your fingers and blending and all that whereas the way that I'm using the pan pastels whether it's with the soft tools or this I feel like I'm painting and I'm liking the way that the effects and the control I'm getting. So I get less control with the soft pastels as I do with the pan pastels. Although pan pastels are considered soft pastels. Um, I don't know if I answered that question right. Um, but they're fun to use, yes. Uh, okay. Helen says, Chrissy, love your progress today. Inspiring. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm off. I'm like, <laughs> pardon the pun, Chris. I'm like a horse out of the gate, you know. <laughs> At the risk of sounding horsey. But yes. And I need some, I need this to be dark down here. Um, and I will use soft tools for this one. Hang on, just need to put this down. Although, um, some people that use soft pastels use the uh, use the soft tools to blend instead of using their fingers. So there's that as well. Um, it's all about technique, I think. Uh, Nolani, my time is up. Off to work I go. Bye for now, Nolani. Uh, talk to you soon, I'm sure. What kind of paper are you using for the blending? Uh, it's ordinary cartridge paper and I've cut up a great big sheet into squares or tra uh, rectangles or just enough for me to, to do this kind of thing. And, and that's the beauty of the pans is that you can mix. You mix to make other colors like you would paint. So 
that's one of the features. Okay, I'll put that as... Okay, um, Barbara says, uh, Wendy, you mean New Year's Eve for Chrissy? Oh, what happened there? Did we miss something? Uh, and they says, my gosh, you are flying through this painting. I'm starting to feel this lady will get finished during the live stream if you are not careful. Mm, don't think so. Um, <laughs> I'd like to, but I don't think so. Um, but we're getting there because look, I've still got my dragonfly. In fact, let's, I'll show you my dragonfly. Oh, you can't see it properly there, but that's it there. With my masking film, another fantastic tool which I love so much. Oh, now she looks like she doesn't have a chin. Hang on, I can fix that. Okay. Okay. Lily says, "Wow, Chrissy, it's going to be awesome. You don't rush, uh, and don't rush. You cannot hurry up arting. No, I will not do that. I will not rush." But, um, see, it's not a very big piece, so it's happening very quickly, so. Hmm. Let's try putting in some lips for the time being and... Jean, uh, Jean, um, oh, I'd like to know what you're saying. Um, uh, just miss, okay. Do I have, uh, do I have a template for my drawing? Uh, uh, well, uh, like line art. Yes, I do have line art. Um, this is, uh, let me see. This is. Oh, okay. Well, I can um, I can probably do a line art and maybe put it on um, share your art with Xris art. I can do that. I don't mind doing that. When I can, as soon as I finish this, I, I will do that. I'll have to write that down. Make sure I'll. Um, I don't mind doing that. Line art four. Okay. All right. So I've written myself a note. 
so we can so I can do it so how about that no problem all good so now I'm doing the lip color uh, which is usually the red iron oxide and I put the tint and I make a nice little pink I try to make it as close to the skin color as possible so here we go with the pants um, translating uh, translating for for Jean or for Chrissy do you have oh, okay oh this is good <laughs> um, okay Um, yeah, so far I've only just put in, um, yeah, this is all, uh, yeah, this will be, this, I'm just putting down where I think certain colours should be and then I'll just keep on working it. So there's, yeah, it might, I know it looks a bit odd right now, but um, it will be okay in the end, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Oksana, um, I'm still catching it. <laughs> Will you be streaming next year for 24 hours? Oh my gosh. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping to be alive by then. If I'm alive by then, you just never know. Uh, needs more purple. <laughs> That's it. What is it? What what what, what, do, what do you call it? Ninja purple. That's right. Ninja purple. Um, do you request 48 hours? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's Oh my gosh. It was a doozy, wasn't it? This is so cool. I'm mixing violet extra dark. Oh, hang on. I've just put green on my fingers. Violet extra dark and red iron oxide shade, red iron oxide tint. And I'm making this lovely lip color mixing. This lovely pink color, sort of lip pink.
I know this looks a bit weird. I can see that it does. <laughs> Ah, thank you for the hands, Jean. Ah, yes. And that was me practicing hand so. This doesn't look weird looks like too much Botox that's it <laughs> it's okay I'll everything will be fixed hopefully uh, my snow oh has started has started a day snowstorm and arting what else could I ask for perfect Janice um, that no Jean um, that that's okay uh, so long as you can understand me that's okay someone is in the chat to understand uh, to translate to me what you're saying but if you can understand what I say that's fantastic oh good day Nanette hello how are you going <laughs> nice to see you <laughs> yes okay uh, lots to do on this lots to do Okay, let's have a look. In review. Hmm. Yes, um, thank you. That's okay. Uh, yes, that sounds wonderful, says Bela. Okay. All right. Um, what I think I might do is call it a stream. And I know it is a stream. Um, but I think I'm going to be finishing up so I've actually got quite a, a, a lot of um, base layers here and so I don't lose my map and I will keep on building layers now she looks a bit odd actually I can see that the lips are funny and everything so but that's okay um, it'll be fixed up it'll be fixed up for sure um, okay well look all right then everyone uh thank you so much for uh for joining in and hope to see you next week and um we'll talk soon okay um uh, and first of all wanted to also again say thank you very much to uh to wendy and to uh janice who have been moderating the stream all their social media is linked in the description box below so please go ahead and check out their sites and stuff like that um but um, I'll talk to you soon, so uh, bye for now.